Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to design the uh, vertical brace connection. Okay, and so I start the web browser, I use Opera up here. Okay, so you type in asp.cobay.com slash connect. Okay, and you will start the program. Okay, in previous tutorial, we already uh, briefed to you um, select the uh, brace section. It could be wide range, uh, double angle, uh, WT channel, and uh, hollow section, all right? So we use uh, WT, which uh, will be uh, simpler. Uh, uh, it will be easier for us to do the demo. Um, the, of course, uh, you can choose other section type uh, based on your design. So we use WT here for our demo, all the brace demo. Okay, so now, uh, it's vertical brace, all right. So, again, we already show you uh, this pull down. We put the vertical brace. We will demo the other brace type of uh, applications, horizontal, red play, or whatever later. On. We pick vertical brace. The column could be uh, left and right. Okay. Now we keep the column at the left. Okay. Now section. We we try to increase the being. Uh, being uh, section now is a uh, W8. Okay, we try to use a W12. So now it's a W12 into W12 uh, column. All right. So here we go to section edit and uh, we go. We pick a uh, 1230. 1230 as our being section. All right, being section 1230. All right, so now the uh, vertical brace, okay, uh, the connector. I mean, we already talked about in our previous uh, tutorial, we talked about brace to gas set, okay. Now, for gas set to column and gas set to beam, there are options uh, like we click on gas set to column, for example, there are option of uh, what we show now is uh, combine and plate, all right? So there are option of uh, create, uh, create angle, okay? You can pick a create angle. Um, I am not um, use that one much frequently. Okay, so some people, if you want, okay, let's create angle for both uh, gas set to um, uh, Gas set to column and bin to column. Right, so uh, the uh, angle to gas set can be welded if you want instead of bolted, right? So that's welded. Okay, now it's gas to colon. For bin to colon, okay, bin to colon, we click on uh, bin to colon. Okay. So, um, uh, angle to bin fastener type can be welded too. So you choose this one as welded. Right, so, uh, Now we have a uh, create angle here. No, why is it not welded? Uh, that one's not. Uh, okay, that one is not uh, properly uh, implemented yet. Okay, so we skip this one and uh, we will add this feature later on. Okay, so go for, go to the gasset to beam. Okay, gasset to beam here. We probably can also now it's direct weld, okay. Direct weld, and uh, probably we can change to creep angle too. Okay, see here, let's creep angle, okay. You see here. All 
Right. So um, that one. Let's say we want to increase the uh, number of boat. Uh, go for the uh, first, uh, like this first boat distance. If we go for six inch, six inch to clear the uh, vertical angle. Right, I didn't use uh, I I didn't use this uh, create angle for vertical brace there. Uh, I didn't use it, but just show you uh, there is a way uh, you can you can choose different connector. Okay, uh, I most more uh, all the time I use amperage. All right, so uh, just to show you, um, you have option. Okay, now we change to direct weld. Okay, normally we direct direct well this uh gas to beam all right then, then the gas supply come with the beam okay let's direct weld all right so for for the uh, for demo uh, i like to use m plate uh, that's why i use it in work okay during work okay gas to garden i change to m plate All right, I will change to M plate. Here you go. So once you change the M plate, there will be a combined M plate. Okay, so both uh, Gasa to uh, colon and Bin to colon. See the front view. Okay. I think both it is the only option. Okay, so let's uh, combine amplate. Okay, got set to column and bin to column. Let's combine. And again, if you hit the got set to column, all of interface, you pick uh, amplate, a create angle. We'll show you, we already show you before. And uh, let's show the weld. See the left side highlighted, amplate thickness. Okay, and the number of bolt rows at Bow rows and number of bow columns, uh, horizontal uh, edge distance, a gauge, uh, vertical spacing, bow, uh, vertical edge distance, and first uh, bow uh, starting distance. Okay, so that's the uh, menu tab, Casa to Colon, and we show the uh, show the uh, bow spacing, uh, bow information on the top, and we if we Click on Gasa to Beam, they will define uh, Gasa to Beam. No, it should be Beam to Colon. Okay, Gasa to Beam is the weld. Okay, should be Beam to Colon. We click on Beam to Colon. I will show you. Uh, okay. That will show you uh, the weld on the bin to column, okay, uh, edge distance, gauge, both spacing, edge distance, okay. We can also uh, extend the end plate to be welded to the, uh, to be welded to the bin bottom fringe. See here, bin bottom fringe. And we also can add one more row of bolts with a stiffener plate, okay. That's option, okay. With one more row bow, we add stiffener plate here. Uh, if you do that, okay. Uh, we we check the uh, gas to column and gas to beam. Uh, we get the interface through a uniform force method, and men sometimes uh, for the uh, for the. Uh, uh, extreme large actual load we go to design load I, well, I just explained to you why we provide the option of doing so okay uh, the, the 
uh, where to go to site view okay design low okay so you see the load that's a load or a brace load okay we provide uh, two load cases okay we know for brace um, there are, there are probably multiple uh, low combinations okay uh, in in uh, in many of my project uh, we have uh, that many uh, low combination we can have like 500 low combinations okay so there's wing abroad uh, from east to south uh, no uh, from for wing abroad uh, uh, from one direction to the other it can be opposite from the other direction to 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 the other okay the wing is reversible seismic reversible okay so the uh, brace brace force uh, can be in uh, because the lecture load is reversible uh, the brace force will be uh, reversible it can be in either compression and ten tension okay and so uh, the, the way I design it, at least I pick the maximum tensile, I pick the maximum compression, all right? Uh, that's uh, the two uh, low case uh, I should visit, okay? I get the envelope, low, maximum tensile, maximum compression. That's the load I should input to the brace design, brace connection design, because that's maximum uh, actual force in brace. So we provide two low cases, okay? One and two. Uh, uh, intention okay is for you to uh, input one of low case is a maximum tensile the other one is uh, maximum compression so the brace force if negative value will represent uh, it will denote the tensile force if it's a uh, positive value it denotes the compression force okay so that's the brace force actual force also, we have uh, shear force here. It's a bin to current shear. Uh, that's the readout. Uh, you read out from your step, uh, your structure analysis program, like a sub resa or step plot. We also allow you to input the V axis shear. Okay, strong axis shear. See the left V axis shear and also transfer force. Okay, so transfer force. Uh, um, the positive value uh, here only, okay? The positive transfer force denotes the tensile transfer force or pass-through force. The negative denotes the uh, um, compression uh, pass-through force. That's a convention from step plot, uh, the, the program I use, okay? So again, so there will be, there'll be two low cases. Uh, intention, the intention is one for maximum compression, one is maximum uh, tensile. So, um, why we jump to the load here? Um, the, so, being to call it, when you have a large actual force, okay, um, uh, the question why we have a uh, low input for being to call and shear, we act uh, strong XX and we XX, why there's no input field for being to call an actual load okay uh, the answer is these uh, being to call an actual uh, it's not relevant to uh, these uh, brace connection because uh, that actual load can be worked out based on brace uh, uh, actual load and uh, transfer force that actual load is just after discuss okay um, we can work out that force should be balanced after we work out this interface force. All right, so there's no such a bin to column actual low input here. But and uh, if you have large tensile force based on the uh, uniform force method, we work out a bin to column interface force due to the uh, this is in tensile. And this one has a large uh, transfer force. Sometimes there's a huge actual load on the beam. Uh, the, the calculate, okay, it's not from your program in, uh, output. It's based on calculation. Uh, work out based on actual load, brace actual load, and uh, uh, transfer force. We get the large actual tensile on this interface, being to call an interface. In that case, I go to bin to call it, all right? Uh, sometimes uh, 
uh, normal way we normal way we when we design this brace connection we allocate uh, this bolt for design to to resist uh, the interface here cause tensile we allocate this bolt to design the interface force from bin to collar okay but if you have very large bin to collar axial this bolt might not be adequate because prying or whatever you expect then we add these uh, two more rows of bolt to resist the bin to collar axial we only leave this part to resist the uh, uh, actual force in the gasset to collar interface all right so that's uh, just a way to allocate the same bolt to different location to resist uh, uh, different magnitude of force uh, as needed all right so when we do that that's how we call uh, uh, add one more row of bolt. We add this bolt. We add this bolt. Uh, we use this. We treat this bolt as a, this group of bolt to resist the bin to current actual. And we also uh, there should be a, 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 a I think there should be an interface here because uh, uh, we add a stiffener plate here. Okay, go to front view. All right, there's an uh, stiffener plate here. Okay, so that with that stiffener plate, these two bolts will be uh, uh, good for uh, tensile resistance because uh, it's a prying, right? Without that, we won't count this one for 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 prying uh, bolt prying resistance. Okay, so that's an option. So we go back to the normal way. Um, we just uh, assume there's not much actual load need to be resist so we go to normal way the shorten the uh, end plate to be uh, within the french range okay that's a normal way of course you ex extend it as i say the second options you can extend the end plate to be welded to the french in that case we these uh, french weld will help okay I will show you. In this case, the French well is added here. Oh, that's a common thing uh, approach. Okay, we just keep it. All right. So we we, we like the uh, French being French to be welded to the end plate. Okay, go to the side view. All right. So that's a front view. Go to side view. That's a vertical brace. All right, so that's vertical brace. All right, so of course you have a brace in top and bottom corner. You can have that. Uh, you can have a brace on both top, both top and bottom. That's called K. K. Uh, brace okay you can do that also in a combined plate combine and plate all right so go to front view Right, so you have brace uh, top and bottom. Okay, so um, when you set up all these things, there's one uh, shortcut. Okay, when you set up, you like to duplicate the top brace to the bottom. Let's say you like to duplicate, the, you, you set up all these design parameters on the top, and You set up all the design parameters on the top. You want to duplicate it to the bottom. You can cop, use this one, copy place from top to bottom. Okay. Also, bottom to top, you can copy it. Let's save you time on doing so. So, also, this angle, 40 degree angle. Uh, so, now, every time you set up with uh, two uh, brace top and bottom, okay, 
um, we can you can only set up uh, the place uh, configuration one at a one time we we want to save this place there's no such uh, configuration for top can calculation uh, configuration for bottom you can only set up uh, once at a time so that's for you to pick up uh, set up place locate on top or bottom so you, if you uh, choose top all your input here all your input uh, casa to column let's say that's a top casa to column okay let's say you pick top the casa to column is always uh, design parameter on top it's not this one okay so you move your mouse move your mouse okay it's only on top one okay also you can when you want to set up here of course you can set this top up and copy it downward okay a quick one if this bottom one is different you just uh, you just uh, select now you want to set up for bottom one okay so let those uh, here you will set up the, the, the interface of bottom one now once you select the bottom so all the interface uh, here is serving the bottom uh, place all right so that's the themes so again uh, the casa we talk about this can connect to strong xx with xx also the casa also can uh, connect to beam strong xx with xx okay the type of brace section type and bolt it okay also okay also uh, the angle here like we already set up a top that means these uh, top brace angle to the vertical line is this one okay 40 degree see uh, the angle highlighted okay it's the top part okay when you set up choose this to bottom you can set the angle for the bottom one it's 45 degree here and um, let's uh, copy the brace from top to bottom and bottom to top so we we, we just uh, brief the uh, items under general tab and you can uh, choose this uh, top and bottom the k type okay brace uh, you may say hey i have x type uh, brace i have brace on all, all the four corner okay then in that case you have to take the coronet boundary you you uh split the brace the x type brace into two k type brace okay uh, you do the design in two input okay and the relationship between left and right k left k and right k is just uh, these uh, uh, transfer force all right that's how you design the k x type uh, brace with brace on all the four corner you you divide them into two k type with the uh, relationship between these two uh, by the uh, transfer force here okay so you input 2k brace like this and the relationship between with one of the colon on left one on the colon on right the relationship between these two k type brace is just transfer force that's it so that's how you design the x type brace panel x type brace joint with brace on all four corner all right you just split them into two case okay uh, so the rest i don't know um the rest uh, it's just section again the same uh, section is just a uh, place you uh, you config your current section and bin section all right they give you uh, Okay, current section being section gas plate. Okay, a gas plate. We talk about gas. I I just like to uh, how to say say set the brace uh, brace uh, option as top only because I don't want to take time. So I want to do a quick demo for you, so I don't do waste time on uh, refreshing this one because if you're too brace probably take longer time to refresh so i just change the their brace on top only okay vertical brace top 
Tor Army, right? So, uh, section is where you define a column section and bin section. Gas separate. Let's go here. Gas separate. Okay. So, gas separate uh, define a couple of themes. Okay, that uh, uh, gas that the brace member clearance. How this brace? Okay, it's clearance here. See one inch. Okay, you see uh, my mouse move over. Okay, see the left highlight one inch clearance. It could uh, be clearance to vertical column edge or clearance to uh, horizontal being top French edge. Okay, it depends on the angle. Okay, so now this case uh, it's governed by clearance to vertical column edge. And you see the left uh, highlight text is a uh, gas spray edge extension on uh, both left and right. See the left, okay, highlight text. Gas spray thickness, and that uh, gas spray corner creep is this one, okay, for welding. And also gas spray is still great. That's where you set up your gasset. WT brace, okay, now. Uh, that's the interface to define this WT brace. Okay, that's gauge, that's uh, spacing vertically, uh, edge distance, and edge distance. All right, okay, gas to column is this part, these three bolts gas to column. We uh, demo through the M plate. I, I use the M plate all the time, all right? Um, sometimes the uh, the other engineer made like create angle, but I use combine empty all the time. That's well. I see the left highlight part. Okay, there's a uh, empty thickness, number of bolts. Uh, okay, edge distance. Uh, that's a uh, coronal bolt gauge. All right. Uh, bolt spacing, edge distance, and uh, first bolt starting distance. Okay. So now we finish the definition of gas to column. We go to gas to beam, which this is direct weld, okay? Gas to beam. Normally the gas come with the beam. We do that way and we assemble these uh, on field for gas to column and beam to column. So let's direct weld, see the highlight text, okay? Let's weld that. So you can copy the. Uh, suggest value will go straight downward, okay? That's just suggest value, it's by calculation. If you copy it, right, so it goes straight downward, all right? So now for the next, we are going to define a bin to colon which are these bolt, okay? Bin to colon these bolt, we go to bin to colon. All right, now, so as again, we pick M plate, bolt it, see the well, highlight text, uh, M plate thickness, the bolt uh, low uh, number, the edge distance, gauge, uh, vertical spacing, edge distance, okay, we have option of uh, extend the uh, M plate to be welded to, uh, to the, uh, okay, it's uh, actually, it's th that case, okay, uh, okay, now for this one is not offering. It's offering to be M plate within bay, uh, being web friend range. So you, you you see the large edge distance here. Okay, for one four point one five zero. So if we copy it, it will shorten under this way. Okay, it will be shortened this way. But if we offer uh, well being uh, Emperor extended to being French, it would just extend it and weld the top and bottom French. All right, so now go to front view. So, normally people like that, they, they, they just feel be more safe, be safer. To get these uh, uh, plane extend downward to get the uh, uh, being French well to the end plate, all right. So 
Now, we finished definition of bin to column, this part. Okay, we go to design low. Uh, it will show you uh, the place design low input. Okay, all these are. Okay, it depends on uh, LRFT or ST. If uh, you, you choose uh, LRFT, if you choose uh, LRFT here, let's see here, setting. Okay, if you choose LRFT, it will be fatter low here, all right? Where's my setting? Okay, if you choose LRFT, it will be fatter low input here. If you choose AST, it will be uh, service and fatter low here. Okay, we cancel it. So, uh, I already addressed this low uh, in my early uh, part of this uh, tutorial. Okay, they are actual load. Okay, they are um, strong XX shear, pin to column, and we VX, VX shear and uh, transfer force. There's no input for pin to column actual load because that one is by calculation. Okay, we offer two low cases. One is uh, intended to for maximum uh, brace actual tensile one is intended for maximum brace actual compression that one you can check this connection in one uh, one check okay in a calculation you have two low cases check you don't need to run it in two runs okay like you raise the one uh, and input the other one we offer uh, two uh, low cases here so once you finish it, go to design cap. Okay. See now we have uh, the chat box here. Uh, basically, we want to uh, categorize. We don't want every uh, there. There are lots of check. It's uh, a brace to gasa, which is WT. Okay. Also gasa to column, gasa to beam, beam to column. So uh, if you don't do that, they will all uh, mess up together. Okay. So we, we, we arrange them in section, okay? We just put select all, okay? Okay, so then they will just uh, add all this calculation with summary, um, nice uh, nice uh, sketch on the vertical brace, okay? That's uh, a brace to gasa view, brace to gasa. And that's gasa play view, show the white wheat more section. I don't know, it's white more or wheat more section. For gas plate, okay. The 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 we more section uh, uh, depth and the width, okay, and that uh, uh, plate to colon or beam interface, okay. That's nice. And all these uh, then we have two low cases for all the check, okay. Two low cases, okay. We get the uh, there'll be uh, if I choose. Uh, <laughs> Place top and bottom, there will be 200 pages. So if you print out, uh, imagine that if you do it manually, uh, how how many hours it would take you to do that? Okay, with our calculation, uh, let's say general, right? Uh, we have a uh, place, uh, uh, let's see, uh, let's show you how many pages, all right? Okay, uh, so we have a uh, place uh, top and bottom. Top and bottom. Now we have this one. Top and bottom, okay. And um, you have uh, double size of calculation because you have top part, you have bottom part. Okay, so now go to calculation. One point one one fail. Okay. Now go to calculation. Let's see how many uh, session we have. For these uh, K type, uh, you see, we have top brace to gas, uh, top brace to colon, top uh, gas to being uh, bottom brace to gas, we duplicate the same thing, okay? So we select all, we select all. So that will be, uh, uh, then we expand all, okay? We get all the section. You see here, result summary, we have top brace to gas. Uh, and top gas up to colon, top gas up to being again. We duplicate this one. We have bottom one, brace to gas up, gas up to colon, gas up to being. We have been to colon. All right, so let's been to colon issues. Uh, fail at the 1.11. And uh, now we get sketch, a uh, nicely sketch. Okay, here it's a nice sketch. 
here and uh, you are, uh, feel nice if we print out okay then we have all these uh, unfolded uh, calculation we hit print okay we hit print and now we get uh, this uh, browser okay we get a sketch I don't know how many pages okay so right click this one we hit uh, it's not Chrome it's uh, Opera and uh, I don't know how to bring it okay Opera where to bring it okay where to bring it hit print is here okay so um, Opera no preview let's see how many pages okay for this kit type of vertical brace Okay, it takes such a long time to preview. Oh, it takes times. Okay, 200 pages. Uh, I believe 300, probably. So, um, while it's previewing, it's a big calculation. Okay, here you go. So, how many pages? Okay, let's bring it let's bring it okay uh, well, before you bring make sure the headline uh, footer is checked and also background graphic is checked okay if not if not your your I don't know background graphics check okay you start previewing again okay so we hit print where's print okay it's a, it's opera okay Bring and bring it to my uh, where it is. Opera, why I hate bring? There's no response. Where's the print interface? Okay, it's coming up. Okay, so uh, go to D drive. A C dry okay and uh, test I think it's test okay so now my uh, first uh, vertical brace my first vertical brace calculation brace okay, okay okay my first vertical brace I just print send to my PDF printer I would like to see how many pages on these uh, K type uh, top and bottom uh, brace vertical brace connections. Uh, okay, um, that, well, we we do that in just a couple uh, input. All right, so it pretty much uh, take uh, five minutes for the input, then we get the result. Okay, let's see how many pages okay if you do it manually 23 uh, I, I believe it take a while because now it's 25 26 pages I believe it's more than 100 okay so while it's printing uh, just uh, uh, brief to you some of these or uh, conclude this uh, this tutorial so that's uh, like uh, for vertical brace, we show you uh, how how you arrange the uh, single panel corner, single corner brace with brace on top on bottom, or we have K type uh, brace uh, join like uh, top and bottom. All right. So uh, we also show you how to define the connector between uh, uh, gasa um, current gasa and beam and beam and current how to input a load okay and uh, then after that just uh, view the calculation that's it all right uh, about the brace to um, gasa we already highlight that um, that's wt in this uh, tutorial uh, we already highlight that uh, how to select the member section and uh, how to uh, define a connector between brace and gasa then we already addressed that in previous tutorial. So now it's 75 pages, 76 pages. 
Uh, we just wait for the final calculation to be print uh, to finish finish this tutorial for vertical brace. Eighty three pages. Okay. Um, so uh, this program save you tremendous of time. Okay, and get the accurate uh, connection calculation. I mean, it's uh, okay. It finish. It's still uh, working on PDF file. Okay, it finished. All right. So how many pages? Ninety pages. All right. Uh, okay. The first is uh, summary. We have uh, brace to gasser, gasser to column, gasser to beam. Uh, we duplicate the top part for the bottom part. We have been to column. Okay, and the ratio and the pass condition. We have uh, is a nicely uh, sketch. Okay. We combine embry, right? That's my favorite, all right? So, uh, brace top and bottom. That's a brace view. We show the gasa to, uh, brace to gasa details. All is both weld, okay? And uh, also, that's gasa view. Uh, we show the gasa the wheat more section, or white more section, I don't know, okay? Um, the, that uh, uh, connector view, we show the embry to column fridge, all right? So after that, there will be uh, 90 pages of calculations, all so limit state check. And again, we have two low cases here, uh, one for maximum uh, design for maximum uh, actual tensile, one for maximum actual compression. Okay, so that's uh, 90 pages of calculation for 1K type uh, vertical brace. That concludes our uh, today's uh, tutorial. And we see you uh, in the next one will be uh, uh, horizontal brace, okay? This one is for vertical brace. Bye-bye.